First of, all, first of all, I'd like to say uh, thank you for the invitation to come here today. Uh, I am a Canadian. I'm proud to be a Canadian. I'm a very patriotic Canadian, but I've never been in the Northwest before. Uh, but I've been a Canadian for a long time, and when I was a very young Canadian, let me tell you that the Northwest attracted me greatly because my uh, boyhood hero was Sergeant Preston of the Royal Northwest Mounted Police. So I guess he used to live somewhere around here, but I haven't been able to find out in the short time that I've been here. I'd like to thank uh, Gwen and her team, uh, not only for inviting me, I do appreciate the opportunity of being here with you, but I must tell you, as I just told the reporter for uh, uh, the Chronicle Journal, how impressed I am with what's going on in this Lynn. And one of the questions I had uh, for my table mates during the previous session was, are other Lynns in Ontario doing the same thing? Because I think you're on the edge of the envelope. You're doing the right thing, and you're doing it in the right ways. And I think a lot of people uh, in our country uh, could benefit uh, from knowing more about what you're doing. And I hope you're able to propagate your knowledge uh, to these people uh, who are like you are out there searching for a better way uh, to get to uh, the next generation of healthcare to make it better than things could be than things are now. My vision uh, for the next generation and hopefully for all succeeding generations is uh, not only that things can be better but that we'd have the best health for the most people at the best cost. It's difficult to, uh, to be against it. This is uh, definitely a, a motherhood and uh, wish. It's just that a lot of us are finding it difficult uh, to achieve. Again, uh, more specifically in terms of the best health for the most people, um, I, I'm a physician, but I do tend to take a patient-centered approach to things and decision making within all aspects of, of health care, whether they're clinical or administrative or favor taking a patient-centered approach if at all possible. We've talked to patients uh, a lot uh, and certainly as we found out in repeated uh, surveys, health care in Canada surveys when I was with Merck, access, timely access is the most important concern that patients have. So if we're going to build a, a system, it that's going to uh, success, be successful for the next generation of care. It's going to have to deliver timely, equitable access. And it's going to have to cover off on these various definitions and aspects of quality that we talk about. And increasingly, it's going to have to be integrated care and coordinated care delivered in teams. And it's going to have to be sustainable. Sustainable is another word for cost efficiency. And that's a great concern not only for Ontario but for all of the provinces today. Healthcare takes up about 50% of the uh, budgets of every province in the nation. And again, I return and close the circle with patient centricity. I, I don't think anybody, whether they're an administrator or a clinician or a provider, or working in a family health team, if, if, they're, if they're taking a patient-centered approach to the, trying to do their job and do it the best way they can, they'll almost always be right. It's a great thing to fall back on. Um, based on my experience and some recent reviews that, have, that I've been reading, I have picked these five features as what I think would have to be the key success uh, features for any overall successful health uh, plan for the next uh, generation and maybe the generation after that. It's going to have to be characterized by a culture which is a shared culture so that the people in the emergency rooms and in the intensive care units and in the administrative suites and in the long-term term care institutions are they're, they're on the same page and in the same book. They have the same value systems. I think repeatedly you've heard here today the uh, great belief and quite a bit of evidence for the value of team care, uh, coordinated team care with physicians engaged. As I'll show you uh, later, uh, 
there's not a uh, consensus. Uh, it's the opinion around teams are presently varied. It's not a concordant opinion, and uh, more work has to be done. We need information systems that are reliable and useful and practical. And as at least one person, and maybe more, has uh, mentioned today, this is the wall that you come up with, even when you get the other key success factors into place. There are very few institutions or uh, regional health authorities in the country, including in Alberta, uh, Nova Scotia, Quebec, all the places where I've worked, where this is being done on a routine basis. Medicine is not yet a performance-oriented industry. Uh, we'll, it will never have success until we can uh, involve measurement into what we're doing on a daily basis. That was one of the reasons why I was so impressed with the presentations that I heard today. You're addressing community needs and you're measuring what you're doing. So I think you'll be able to make successive decisions more clearly and with more evidence as you go forward. And I didn't hear it mentioned an awful lot today, but I saw it demonstrated an awful lot today. Uh, leadership. Leadership is, uh, has many definitions. Everybody knows what it is, but they have difficulty defining it. In that book that was handed out, I settled on General Schwarzkopf's definition. General Schwarzkopf said that leadership is the ability to get people to do what they otherwise, otherwise might not do. He left out a few things in the definition that I think are uh, very important, but again, I saw them here in a lot of the uh, lightning success stories that are going on in the wind both this morning and this afternoon. Uh, there's a degree of integrity and perhaps of all, above all else selflessness. Uh, if you think about the leadership in the financial world these days or perhaps the lack of it, one of the things that's lacking is demonstrated selflessness. Uh, I think the AIG situation was one graphic demonstration of that in the last two weeks. Fortunately, in the healthcare world, uh, selflessness is much more readily apparent and it's there. I've never met a physician, a nurse, a pharmacist, a rehab specialist who's trying to do a, a bad job. There's an altruism in this world that we inhabit on a daily basis that's not there in all professions or in all endeavors. So I have a great uh, faith in leadership as a skill set. I wish it were taught at Lakehead University, and perhaps it is at the medical school and the nursing school and the schools that reach out to these people in the communities like Catherine and her colleagues. Uh, leadership is, is not to be ignored. Uh, you're not born with it. It's definitely teachable and it's learnable. Well, if that's where we want to go, and we know what the success factors are going to be, let me give you my vision of where we are today. 